Hey, I just got a call from the hospital. They said you fell down the stairs and broke almost every bone in your body. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. I'm in a terrible state right now and I can barely move without screaming in agony. I really need you to bring me some stuff from home while I'm stuck here. Wow, I can't believe you messed up so badly. How pathetic of you to end up like this. What? Don't play dumb with me. I know you fell down those stairs because you were always nodding off on your feet and not paying attention to where you were going. You probably tripped over your own shoelaces and landed on your face. I bet that doctor was just trying to make you feel better when he said you had multiple fractures. There's no way you could do that much damage to yourself by falling down a few steps. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? Why would I be ashamed of myself? This has nothing to do with me nodding off or tripping over anything. Aren't you even concerned about how I'm doing right now? Concerned? <laughs> Why should I be concerned about you? You'll be fine in no time, right? I'm not asking you to be concerned about me getting back on my feet or not. I'm asking if you care at all that I just shattered most of my bones and need several surgeries to fix them. Don't you think you could show some compassion for what I'm going through right now? It's going to take me at least two months to recover from this ordeal. And there's no chance that I'll be able to work before then. What? So you're saying you're going to be out of commission for two whole months? Oh my god, you are the most useless person ever, Charlie. I pity the people who have to pay you while you're lying around doing nothing. Can you please stop talking to me like that? I didn't choose to be injured like this. I'm not that kind of person and I really want you to understand that this was an accident. So please be more gentle with me. I'm in a very fragile state right now and hearing you insult me like this makes me feel even worse. I don't care what you feel. I hope this accident teaches you a lesson about how worthless you are to the company and to your family. I've always known that you were a drain on the payroll. But aren't you humiliated by the fact that you won't be able to work for two months? You should see how ridiculous you look right now. I swear to God, you are such a moron. Even my boss doesn't talk to me like that about my role in the company, Paulina. I never expected you to be so cruel to me. Hold on a minute. Are you telling me you're not even coming home for the next two months? Look, I have to stay calm while I'm recovering from this. That's why they want me to stay in the hospital for two months while they fix me up and keep me strapped to this bed. Oh my god, what about all the housework then? Do you expect me to do everything around here for the next two freaking months? No way, Charlie. Just because you're a failure and can't support our family doesn't mean I have to do all your work for you. Are you serious? You don't even have a job right now, Paulina. You told me that you would take care of the house while I worked. So I think it's only fair that you do your part for a while while I'm here healing. I can't come home right now. I can't even get out of this bed, so can you please just do your job? Besides, I won't be making a mess at home for a while, so you won't have to clean as much as usual. Oh, that's so convenient for you, isn't it? It's because of you and your uselessness that my life is a nightmare. I hate this. Why would I ever want to waste my time doing chores for you? I don't care that you broke some bones, Charlie. How can you say that to me? I didn't choose to be injured like this. I'm not that kind of person and I really need you to understand that this was an accident. So please be kinder to me. I'm in a very bad situation right now and hearing you talk to me like this makes me feel even worse. I don't give a damn about how you feel. You brought this on yourself by falling down those stairs. You don't deserve any sympathy from me. You've caused so much trouble for everyone around you. You should be apologizing to everyone for being such a burden and a waste of space. Paulina, you're being way too harsh right now. Please, just calm down. I'm staying at the hospital downtown. I need you to come by sometime and bring me some stuff. Books, games, anything. I need something to distract me while I'm stuck in this bed for two months. Huh, <laughs> you really think I'm going to do that for you? What? Why don't you ask your mom to bring you some stuff? She's always got nothing better to do, right? Don't be like that, Paulina. That's not fair. My mom can't come to this hospital as easily as you can. She would have to drive all the way to our house to get my stuff and then drive all the way back here. That's too much to ask from her. You only have to drive 30 minutes to get here and give me some things. Is that too much to ask? I have a lot of things to do. Unlike you and your mom, I don't have time to be running errands for you. Are you kidding me? So you're really not going to bring me anything or even visit me here? Find someone else to come and see you with your stuff. I don't have time for that nonsense. 
And stop texting me or calling me, okay? I need some peace and quiet to think about how worthless of a husband you are and what I'm going to do about you. What are you saying, Paulina? Do you really not want to listen to what the man you married has to say? I'm serious, Paulina. Why are you acting this cold to me now? Paulina, I'm getting discharged from the hospital today. You never bothered to visit me once while I was there, did you? Not even after the surgeries I had to go through. I'm finally coming back home now. But are you even there? I have something very important that I need to talk to you about face to face. Oh, I took care of most of the divorce papers and left them on the table for you when you get back. What? Your daughter and I have moved out of that house. I have no use for a husband who can't work anymore. I want us to split up for good. You never showed me any love or care after my accident. And now this? Well, thank God I got used to not seeing you for the past two months. And are you serious about filing for divorce? And about leaving the house with our daughter? I'm dead serious, Charlie. And why wouldn't I do this? You were a pain in my ass even before you fell down those stairs. But after that, I couldn't stand the thought of being married to you. I don't need a man who's just going to lie in the hospital for two months and expect his family to do all the work for him. Your daughter and I are gone now, so just sign those papers and get it over with. For God's sakes. Thank you. <laughs> don't pretend you're happy about this. No, I'm really grateful. I've never been happier in my life. I'll make sure to walk over to the city office today and hand them those papers with a big grin on my face. I'll finally be free from this hell. What? What's wrong with you? Why are you acting like this is a good thing? I know you're just trying to act tough and hide your feelings, but come on, Charlie. You sound insane. I know you're dying inside, begging me to come back to you. The truth is, while I was in the hospital, you and our daughter never came to see me. That gave me a chance to really think about the life I had with you two. So now that you're telling me you're both leaving me, I feel like nothing's really changed for me. If anything, I was scared to come back home to you two being there. So this has taken that fear away. I was depressed, thinking that I'd be going back to two people who don't give a damn about me and just want me to slave away to keep them fed and sheltered. Depressed? How could you be depressed by that when you're only good for making money for us? Tell me, Paulina, who's the real loser here? What did you say? You promised me that after you quit your job a long time ago, you'd be a housewife and take care of everything at home. But that was a lie. You and Lucia just lazed around all day. And the moment I got home from work, you'd start nagging me to do everything for you. Did you know that the reason I fell down those stairs wasn't because I was dozing off at work. It was because I was so tired from doing everything from you two that I blacked out as soon as I got to the office and tumbled down three floors. But you never wanted to hear the truth about that. You can tell yourself whatever you want about why you fell down those stairs, but don't you dare blame me for your stupidity. I remember how you always nagged me about how my job didn't pay enough and how it was because I was no good at it and needed to work harder. You also told me to work overtime so that I could bring more money home. But when I did, you said it was still not enough and that I had no reason to stay late at work. You were never satisfied with anything I did. And no matter how hard I tried to please you, you never appreciated it. I remember those days when I worked extra hours to earn more money. And when I got home, you'd ask me where the dinner was and why I hadn't cooked it yet. And not only that, but then you'd scream at me for not doing any of the chores either. I'm telling you the truth when I say that I had enough of you. And so hearing you say that you want a divorce now is the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> I can see that you keep putting all the blame on me, but you know it's really because you're a loser, right? Say whatever you want, Paulina. I'm going to divorce you, and I don't want to hear you whine about me anymore. I'll finally be free. So don't think I'll change my mind. You're free now? You don't have a job or any money anymore. What kind of freedom is that? You'll never be free now because you have nothing to live on. You're a waste of space. And that's why you've been dumped by both your daughter and your wife. I've been dumped. Is that how you see it? What? I'm sure that the only ones who will suffer after dumping me will be you too. But, well, 
whatever life you have after this, good luck with it. I'm going to file those divorce papers by the end of the day. So go ahead and live your lives however you want. You don't need to tell me that, Charlie. And as for you, good riddance to the hell you've created for yourself. And of course, you and I won't be family anymore. So don't come crawling back to me begging for help. We have nothing to gain from helping you anyway since you have no money. I get it. Well, whatever you think of me doesn't matter anymore. Just be glad that I'm not going to seek any revenge on you too after what you've done to me. I'm telling you honestly that I'm the happiest I've been in a long time. Thank you so much for leaving my house to me. Really? It's sickening to hear you say you're happy after this, but oh well, goodbye forever, you freaking jerk. There is one thing I forgot to tell you though. I know everything about how you've been cheating on me with another man. What? Cheating on you? What are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? Because what you're saying makes no sense. I'm sure it makes more than no sense to you. Did you think you could hide your affair from me? I know for a fact that you've been seeing that other guy for a long time now. And to top it off, I have proof of it all. What are you saying? Are you just making things up now to make yourself feel better about being divorced? Why would I make something like this up? Right now, I'm not the one losing this fight between us. If that's what you want to call it, then go ahead. But I think I'm anything but the loser right now. And that's because I'm not going to lose. <laughs> You're just trying to get a rise out of me, aren't you? There's no way you could know something like that when you've been stuck in that hospital for the past two months. Don't delude yourself with thoughts like that. I told you, I don't want any revenge. Because I'm actually very happy with us getting divorced. And tomorrow, I'm going to change all the locks on my house, just to be safe. I don't want you anywhere near my place. What? You're going that far? I still have a lot of my stuff in that house, Charlie. I'll make sure to throw them all in the garbage for you, so don't worry about that. You said that you two were gone for good, so there's no reason for me to keep your things here, right? If you really cared about any of this jewelry or clothing, you would have taken them with you when you left, right? Let me make this very clear for you. I don't want you or Lucia to ever come back to my house. And I'm going to talk to a lawyer about how you've been cheating on me. And I'm going to make sure that you pay me a settlement. You want me to pay you a settlement? You do realize that I don't have a job right now, right? Oh, I'm well aware of that, Paulina. And... I'm also aware of you cheating on me. And I also saw that letter you attached to the divorce papers asking for half of everything I own. But thinking that you'll get anything from me in the divorce is way too generous after what you've done. How about, instead of acting like you've won this war against me, you open your eyes and see the reality of your situation. Why should I give you anything in this divorce when you've been jobless for years and cheating on me with another man behind my back? If you had just asked for the divorce, you might have gotten half of my stuff. But you had to cheat on me, right? I'm not cheating on you. Stop making up lies about me, okay? These are not lies, Paulina. I have solid evidence of you cheating on me. So it's no use trying to hide from me now. It's better that you just accept the truth now. So that you don't have to strain yourself by living a lie. Anyway, I'm going to have a lawyer with me soon, so... Running away is not an option anymore. <laughs> Are you really getting a lawyer now? Do you really think this needs to involve someone like that? This is supposed to be between us, not some strangers. Charlie, there's no need for you to go that far, right? We've been together for over 20 years. That's a long time. And us getting divorced now is something that happens to any couple after this long. Let's just be nice to each other and end things peacefully. Don't you remember how much I loved you all this time? Huh? What are you trying to say to me now? We've been together for over 20 years. That's a long time. And us getting divorced now is something that happens to any couple after this long. Let's just be nice to each other and end things peacefully. Don't you remember how much I loved you all this time? Why are you changing your tune now, saying that you want this to end smoothly? You were the one who made my life hell every day while cheating on me behind my back. And while I was in the hospital, healing from multiple broken bones, which I still have to deal with, by the way. You filed for divorce and took off with my daughter. You've made it pretty clear that you never cared about me or how I felt. <laughs> and just so you know, I'm going to be nice and give you this divorce since that's what you've been dying for, right? But 
I'm also going to make sure that you pay me for all the time you wasted with that other guy. And from what I know, he doesn't have much money either. So he might dump you when he finds out about me and my plans. You even snooped around him? I'm not seeing him though. He's just a very good friend of mine. Oh, he's just a friend now, is he? Well, just to let everyone know the truth, I'll send the proof of you two sleeping together to your parents' house. What? Why would you do that? This is to make sure that you don't lie to your parents about why we're getting divorced, and so that they see who you really are. It's crazy that you thought you could pull this off and get any of my stuff in the divorce. Well, that's never going to happen, and all you'll get now is a court order telling you to pay me in the divorce. And I'm guessing that you're going to have a hard time finding a job after being a fake housewife for so long. Why are you acting like you're the winner here? You're in the same situation as me, jerk. You don't have a job either, and all your money is going to your medical bills. Why do you think I don't have a job? You haven't been to work for the past two months, so your boss must have fired you by now, right? That's why I left you. I wasn't going to stay with a man who thinks it's okay to slack off for two whole months and not care about his job that supported us. Well, I wasn't fired from my job, Paulina. What? I wasn't slacking off. And I don't know where you got that idea from. I told you that I had a serious accident at work, and that it would take me two months to recover from it. And that's just the time it took for my bones to heal. I still have to go to physical therapy for the next year or so to get back to normal. But I'm sure you never cared about my condition or my recovery since you never visited me in the hospital. What do you mean you weren't fired? How is that possible? I got sick leave for a month and a half so that I could heal in the hospital. But I only needed a month of it. Because after that first month, I could use my left hand again. And so my boss was nice enough to let me work from home. Which I've been doing for a month now. And will keep doing as I go to physical therapy. So I wasn't fired from my job. I was injured on the job. So they couldn't fire me for that anyway. I think you're out of your mind for never visiting me in the hospital and for still attacking me for my injuries. But thank God I wanted to divorce you too. So this is a win-win for both of us. Now you and your daughter can have fun with that guy you've been sleeping with, okay? And don't forget that I'm going to take a lot of your money in this divorce. Charlie, why won't you pick up your phone? I even drove all the way back to your house. But it looks like you're gone. And I can't even get into the house because you changed the freaking locks on me. What the hell are you doing? Playing games with me? Why are you back? To talk to me again? And why would I let a stranger into my home without a good reason? Calling me a stranger now. What's wrong with you, Charlie? What? How is that wrong? I'm in a really bad situation and I need help. And it made me realize that I actually want to be with you again. Are you sure you don't feel that way because your boyfriend ditched you? After finding out how much money I'm going to take from you too. Don't you have any pity for me? Even Lucia has turned her back on me and said she's going to live by herself now, so I have no one left to love me and call family. I want to see my boyfriend and sort this out with him, but he won't listen to me. And as for my parents, well, they're furious with me for what I did to you and everyone and told me to never show up at their house again. So I just want to come back to you and live with you again. It's the only option I have right now. So can you please take care of me and let me back into your life? I'm cracking up right now at how clueless you are. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's a big no from me. What? I don't have the energy to deal with a freaking moron anymore. Don't you see that the reason your life sucks right now is because of what you did to me? It makes no sense for you to come back to the person you hurt and ask them to take you back. Now, go back to the hell you made for yourself, please. I don't know you anymore, so stay away from me. And I'm sorry for being a useless and jobless husband back then. <laughs> and just like I expected, Paulina couldn't get any help from anyone she knew and was left alone with nothing and nowhere. I'm guessing that since she still has to pay me the settlement I demanded, she'll be working crappy jobs for a long time. And realizing how hard life is when you've been lazy for so long. I still keep in touch with her parents though. 
as they were always good friends of mine, even before we got married and had Lucia. And they still tell me that sometimes they hear her sobbing at their doorstep in the dark, hoping that they'll let her in. But what she doesn't know is that they're planning to build a big fence around their house, so she won't have many more chances to shelter under their roof. As for Lucia, I haven't heard from her since the day of my accident, and I don't expect to. But she never blocked me on Instagram, so every now and then, I see her posts, and see that she's found a man of her own to be with. It looks like they'll tie the knot soon, but I don't care about her anyway. It's just good to know that she escaped from her crazy mom and is doing okay with someone else. I bet Paulina really regrets cheating on me and leaving me like that. But as for me, I'm more relaxed now and I have a whole new life to live where I can do what I want and not be judged for it. It'll take a while until she pays me every cent I asked for. But I'm not in a rush for the money as I still have my job to give me a good income. If anything, seeing her pay me bit by bit every month reminds me that she's still out there struggling on the streets.